Two new Habitat for Humanity homes could soon be developed in Barnstable. Business owners are reporting a successful summer season, and we get the latest unemployment numbers from the Cape and Islands Workforce Investment Board. These stories on this episode of Barnstable Today. It's Wednesday, September 4th, 2013. I'm Sarah Mannell. Habitat for Humanity of Cape Cod is working to build two single-family homes on Sesame Street in Centerville. The homes would house families living on wages at or below 65 percent of the median income. Lidera Zola, the Director of Land Acquisition and Permitting for Habitat for Humanity of Cape Cod, went before the Conservation Commission this week. We're very excited to be working in Barnstable. It's been a while since we've been here. Um, we've basically got two single family dwellings on a little over two acres and we are hoping as you see there's a lot for there. We are hoping uh, to deed that to a conservation entity and uh, if you have any questions about the work I'm happy to answer. Thank you very much. Any questions? John. Oh, I'm sorry what did you just say about <laughs> lot four which says non-buildable here? Um, lot four is a non-buildable. It's an interesting site because of location of septics and where we could perk. We ended up with two very small housing lots. We're using two and three. Two and three. We're using Mass General Law Chapter 40B, so they can be small housing lots. For equity for our homeowners, we like to keep them fair. So we had this extra piece of land that's the more sensitive, and I've started conservation. Uh, con. Uh, con Consultation. Thank you. It's been a long day for me with the um, Barnstable Land Trust, and we would love to get an entity to take title to it. If there isn't an entity that wants to take title, we'll put a conservation restriction on it. Okay. Oh, I misunderstood. Thank you. That's no super. problem. I don't think I'm speaking very well. It's been a no, long you did day. Great. You did great. Thank you. Tom? Just for your inform just for your information, I think this project is supported by the CPC. And actually, we fund a portion of the project. Yes, thank you. It is supported uh, in funding by the Community Preservation Committee. It's also been submitted for permitting as a local initiative program, which <coughs> part of that process is getting the Affordable Housing Committee and the Board of Selectmen or town councilors to um, endorse a local initiative program that goes to the state. And we have already gone through that process. We're going to be before the ZBA next week. During the meeting, members of the Conservation Commission discussed the next steps for the project. If the Commission wished it could send a letter, the, the ZBA like preempts the Conservation Commission's hearing under 13140. No, no, excuse me, I said that wrong. Under the town ordinance. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, whereas the 13140 process um, is not touched. So your all's approval of this project, should it come tonight, um, as a negative determination under 13140 would speak, you know, would in essence speak volumes to the ZBA that, you, that uh, you find the project a worthy one. The Conservation Commission voted unanimously to approve the project. It will next go before the Zoning Board Wednesday, September 11th at 7 p.m. The meeting will be held in the Town Hall hearing room. If traffic was any indication, this summer was a busy one on Cape Cod. Barnstable This Morning host Sarah Colvin sat down with Elizabeth Werfbane, the executive director of the Main Street Business Improvement District, to talk about the success of the summer. So, of course, uh, Labor Day has come and gone, but that doesn't necessarily mean uh, things have slowed down on Main Street. But before we get talking uh, about what's going on these days on Main Street, let's talk about what a fabulous summer uh, we had here on Cape Cod. Oh, it was great. Um, I would say, I, mean, I don't know if people saw the Cape Cod Times article this weekend, but, um, you know, it's documented that it was at least up over, last summer was a great summer, by the way, but it was at least 10% up over last summer. So um, I know Main Street businesses in general are very pleased with the amount of people on the street. 
Absolutely, and you know, obviously, um, you know, I work a couple of doors down from you here at Town Hall, and I'm on Main Street all the time, uh, not just here when I'm working, but also on, on weekends as well. And it's just, it's been a, all the restaurants busy almost all the time, people walking around. And I think what I noticed more of uh, this year was people walking around with shopping bags in their hands. So people were definitely spending money this summer. Yeah, it's back. I mean, for a few years, honestly, they were they were coming back slowly, and they weren't really purchasing product as much. And uh, and people were like sharing a beer. I mean, that's really how it was getting to. But this summer, there were a lot of stores said that they were back, getting back to their you know old numbers. Absolutely. And have you heard any feedback? I mean, obviously, uh, kind of still in the in the number crunching uh, time since Labor Day has just passed us by. But in terms of just anecdotally, what have you heard uh, from bid members about uh, their success this summer? Well, I've heard. I mean. Of course, I hear mostly from the successful people because we all like to brag rather than, you know, complain. Of course. But um, so I hear, you know, from like an ice cream place that they were up 40 percent. And I hear from, you know, a uh, like a known, you know, pub bar that they were up about 40 percent. You know, and not everyone has those numbers, but I hear that people had a really good summer. And I hear from some um, shops that are kind of gifty, that it was slightly up, you know, but that's okay because last summer was a really good summer for them. So exactly. they, you know, you can't always jump exponentially, you know, and I think that the fact that you had so many people on the street helped for less expensive type food venues, you know, like an ice cream or, you know, uh, or a beer place. Right, or a hot dog yeah. or a slice of pizza or whatever. I mean, and that's that's really one of the, the big pluses about Main Street is not only, um, you know, do you have those little uh, little hot dog stands and, and pizza slice places, you can go from that to a full-on, you know, five-star dining experience. There's really something for everyone when it comes to uh, looking for, for culinary delights on Main Street. Exactly. We have 42 restaurants and, um, you know, all different types of venues, and we have to have a lot of people here to feed them <laughs> exactly <laughs> everybody's hungry but um, there's guaranteed there's something for everyone uh, on main street so i mean really when we when we look at the summer i think definitely the the headline in the cape cod times was summer is is deemed success and i think that that's a, that really rings true uh, for this summer certainly seeing a lot of people coming here visiting and uh, and enjoying uh, everything we have to offer in downtown hyannis exactly i mean and there were so many events as well this summer that helped kind of uh you know pad the amount of people coming, such as, you know, music events or art events, um, you know, you have the Melody Tent, um, you know, you think about all the different things that were coming into play this summer, the RTA brought in train loads of people, Yes. Um, you know, we had the little shuttle going around and around, you know, so consistently, you know, more and more good things have been coming in and bringing in the people and then you have more businesses. You can learn more about the Hyannis Main Street Business Improvement District by visiting the organization's website, HyannisMainStreet.com. An increase in tourism may not be helping the job market just yet. Unemployment numbers in July remained steady with the numbers from the same time last year. That, according to David Augustino, the director of the Cape and Islands Workforce Investment Board. The uh, unemployment rate for the uh, Barnstable County for Cape Cod was 5.7 percent, which uh, surprisingly, it was exactly the same rate um, in June of July of 2012. So, uh, so we've held our own year to year, um, and it's actually down uh, close to a full percentage point. It was 6.4 percent in June, and uh, down to 5.7 percent in July. So, um, so we're going along. We certainly haven't uh, go recovered totally from the. Uh, Great recession of 2008 and 9, but um, we're doing pretty well. And I think the numbers that you know I saw uh, uh, people talking about for the region for the summer, uh, mostly all positive uh, I indicators for the summer. And I think the unemployment situation kind of bears that out. Augustino says he expects the unemployment numbers to drop in August. For Barnstable today, I'm Sarah Mannell.